This is an extraordinary panel, uh, and I'm very excited about it. And we've heard so much today, and I think as James said, we, we through the course of the day, went from the, the scale of the companies that inhabit tech and have gone further and further into the real estate and urban development dimensions of this down to Andrew's paper and that great presentation. And so now what we really want to do is talk to the people who are really leading the way in terms of creating both uh, existing and new spaces in technology and understanding uh, kind of what the implications of all of that are. Uh, and so uh, starting with uh, Jed Walentis, my friend and, and client actually, uh, principal of Two Trees Management. Uh, Jamie Springer, partner of HRNA and also very, very involved in the Brooklyn Tech, Brooklyn Tech Triangle Study as well as uh, Hudson Square. Uh, Adam Newman, uh, the uh, CEO and co-founder of WeWorks. And uh, last but most definitely not least, uh, 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 Marianne Gilmartin, the CEO and um, and president of Forest City Ratner Corporation, uh, also a very, very close friend. We're so thrilled to have everyone here. To, to kick off the panel, uh, we're actually going to do something we didn't quite plan on doing, uh, which is um, I, I thought it would be important to show those three slides that James showed at the outset, especially because, and maybe it would have been smarter to um, have you guys uh, 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 come up after we showed the three slides. Sorry about that, guys. Um, uh, technology, right? Um, so our, our research, and really uh, James and our team at Cure have led this, uh, did some uh, fairly uh, groundbreaking research in terms of the type of buildings uh, that uh, technology companies are inhabiting across the city. And found this, that 86% of the companies were in pre-war buildings, uh, with only 14% in post-war buildings. And then the second slide, please. Right, that 70% uh, were in a landmark building, which I found really extraordinary. Uh, and then the last slide. Uh, and that 68% were in buildings that weren't necessarily small buildings, but buildings that were under 14 floors or under 14 stories tall, with uh, very few of them occupying very large buildings. Um, and so it was just, it, so we can shut the slides off, but um, we just wanted to show this panel, because you're such experts in all of this, this kind of interesting finding. Now, all of this is intuitive. We would imagine and we know that a lot of tech companies are in existing buildings. And I think we actually use this very outdated terminology of class A, class B, class C buildings. And this starts to tell me that maybe there's a class T building out there uh, that's, that's specifically about tech. And so, you know, you, can, you guys can take your seats again. Sorry for the disruption. Um, and I'm going to sit down with you and start with this whole issue of um, uh, existing buildings versus new construction. Uh, that there's obviously an economic rationale that drives why a technology company might uh, move towards uh, an existing structure as opposed to a new structure. But Jed, I'm going to start with you because, you know, right now Two Trees is obviously very well known for Dumbo and your ownership of management of Dumbo and existing buildings where tech companies are there. And Domino, where in new construction, you're going to be putting technology companies. So I think you're extremely well suited to sort of start us off uh, with that distinction about old versus new. Um, well, first of all, uh, thank you all for being here, Vishan in particular. Thank you for having me. Um, we haven't, uh, all we've done is talk about it at Domino in the, in the new construction part. So we don't have that totally figured out yet. But I think the slides were indicative as to what Vishan says is, is fairly intuitive. You know, the, the tech companies are generally smaller, younger companies. They're looking for flexibility. And, you know, in the infancy of their uh, voyage as companies, they're obviously looking, they, they care a lot about price, right? They're very price sensitive. And that's going to lead you, obviously, to an older building stock, uh, maybe to secondary neighborhoods, to lower buildings, which was kind of interesting. I never thought about that. But I think there's also a cultural component um, of this discussion. Uh, and most of the you know, Class A uh, buildings or the, the newer high-rise buildings that have been built in the city over the last 40 years, and, and interestingly, I don't think there are that many of them. Um, you know, most of those buildings have very institutional ownership uh, and management, and those things are not terribly conducive to uh, to how these tech companies want to 
run their businesses, how, how they want to behave, what their growth patterns are going to be, all those things. You know, if you're a 2,000 foot company and you might go out of business tomorrow or you might double four times in the next six years, you know, that's not a great fit for an institutional landlord. Um, it's a much better fit for, you know, somebody like us. We don't have a lot of rules. We turn a blind eye to a few things here and there. Uh, we're, we're fairly easy going. The lease is short. Um, you know, we're not owned by Goldman Sachs or some insurance company and there's not some, you know, dude sitting in Omaha writing a bunch of regulations about how this company should be treated. Um, so part of it's economics, but I also think a lot of it's culture um, in terms of creating an environment where these people can really function. And I, when we go to Domino, we will we'll sort of see uh, how those things play out. And I think the flip side of the culture argument, which will be interesting to see, I think a lot of the tech companies actually prefer the aesthetics and the environment of built buildings. I think one of the challenges we'll have with Vishan and his team when we go to Domino is how to make the new space for these companies uh, kind of aesthetically and intellectually appealing to them and their employees.